Stage 7, Phase 1. Connect the two drum sections together and then place the engraved drum plate on top. Orient it so that the set screw and the central column support faces towards you. Take the earth arm and ensure that the 19 millimeter bearing is still on the central column. Place a plastic washer on the central column and the large brass washer. Holding them with your finger, place the earth arm onto the central column support. Make sure that the gears mesh and tighten it down with the set screw in the column support. Now when you move the arm back and forth, the gears in the engraved drum plate should rotate. This step requires you to install the central shaft so that a certain amount of it extends below the engraved plate. Now you can use a scale, but I'll show you how you can do this without one. Now with the set screw sticking out of the long collar so it don't roll away on you, set it on its side. Take the blade end of the shaft and place the 20 tooth gear onto the end of the shaft with the teeth facing towards the blade end. Now place the central shaft upright on the surface of the table and let the 20 tooth gear drop down against this long collar and tighten the gear on the central shaft with a set screw. The instructions say that 12 millimeters of shaft should be sticking out beyond the gear. As you can see in the close-up, this is indeed what I have achieved. Take the long brass collar and place it over the other end of the central shafts and slide it down against the gear and tighten it on securely to the central shaft. This collar ensures that the proper amount of shaft extends below the engraved plate so that it properly engages with the drive motor. Now stick the central shaft up through the bearings in the central column. Make sure the teeth of the gear mesh together and that the long collar is firmly up against the bearing. These gears drive most of the models so they should line up perfectly. If not, you're going to need to take the 20 tooth gear off and turn it around. Make sure that the long collar is up against the bearing and line up the 20 tooth gear so that it meshes exactly in line with the larger gear. This does not alter the length of the shaft extending below the engraved plate that goes into the drive shaft of the motor drive. Place the two curved drum sections, leaving a gap for you to reach your hand into. Now with the ear counter facing towards the front, place the engraved plate on top of the drum sections. Let the central shaft drop down. As you can see, you can reach under the model and you can lift up on the central shaft. Place the brass spacer onto the central shaft, followed by the small plastic washer. Now's the time to put the long chain on. Before we do, though, you have to orient the moon track. The high side has to be away from the central shaft. So I'll take the low side of the moon track closest to this eclipse gear and turn it until it faces towards the central gears. This gives you room for the chain. Now by opening up the chain, loop it around the earth and slip it underneath the eclipse gear between the moon pillar and the central shaft stack of gears. Now let the chain rest on top of the sprocket. Don't wrap it around the sprocket and take the chain and make it into an L shape. Now lower the chain over the 18 tooth sprocket. Now lift the eclipse gear and the chain should slip right underneath it. Now you can wrap the chain around the 14 tooth sprocket under the earth and around the 22 tooth sprocket on the center shaft. Now you can take the 14 tooth sprocket with the hub with the slot facing up Put it on the end of the chain. Tilt in great plate so that you can place the sprocket over the central shaft. Make sure that the chain is all around the gears. Now 
phase two, place the locking spacer on the central shaft so it locks with the 14 tooth sprocket. Place the other 14 tooth sprocket over the short chain and wrap it over the 18 tooth sprocket and set it over on top of the locking collar. Now reach underneath the model and push up on the central shaft. Make sure that the gears are meshing underneath and that the upper sprocket locks into the locking collar. Take in an Allen wrench. Lock the set screw on the locking spacer onto the central shaft. You have now completed assembling the two chains on their sprockets. Before installing the base bolts, be sure that there's no wires in the way of the holes. What I did was tuck one of the wires up and underneath the motor. This will keep the wire out of the way and it won't get pinched. Now with a mark facing you on the base plate, take a drum section that has Scorpio on the edge and set this section into the groove on the base plate so that the edge with Scorpio lines up with the mark on the base plate. Now set the other drum section onto the base plate in the groove and take the engraved drum plate and set it on top of the drum sections so that November 22nd lines up with a seam between the two sections. Now you'll have to turn the shaft so that the tab on the shaft falls into the groove in the shaft of the motor drive. Now make sure the marks are lined up with the seam. Then you're ready to take and install the bolts. Carefully tilt the model up thread the bolt through the bottom hole and it should line right up with the threaded hole in the engraved plate up above. Rotate the model a third of a turn, get another base bolt and install it into the second hole. If you use a short Allen wrench you won't have to tip the model as far as you would with a long Allen wrench. Now insert the final bolt, making sure the plates are tight together against the drum sections and insert the third bolt. Now with all three bolts in you can tighten them down securely. Now install the date pointer. It is easier to do this before putting the gear for the sun on as it says in the written instructions. The written instructions also show that a plastic washer goes on the central shaft and then the sun gear goes on top. But if you do this, you can see that the teeth do not line up quite right with its mating gear. Now with the spacer removed, you can see when the sun gear is on that it lines up a lot better with its mating gear. This completes stage 7 of the assembly of the Earth, Moon, and Sun Orbiter.